Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. My name is Ruth and I am a very busy mum of three. And as a very busy mum of three, I am required to hoover my house a lot. Um, and I do have a bit of a weird love for hoovers and vacuums. And I've always been a big advocate of Dyson hoovers, but no more because I have actually just purchased a cordless shark. Um, we've gone for the cordless um, shark that is for the pet hair and the anti-hair wrap as well. Um, and so basically in this video, I just want to go over Dyson Hoovers. We're talking about cordless. I have had a Dyson V6 and a Dyson V11. Um, and I basically want to talk about how long these actually last and why I am now trying a Shark Hoover. I do want to quickly apologise if you hear any sort of noise or shouting in the background. It is my son. I am a mum. I can't get my kids to be quiet. Um, that's just life. But hopefully it won't be too distracting and hopefully you won't hear a lot. Um, so the first Hoover that I got was the Dyson V6. I bought this about seven or eight years ago. And... Then we got the Dyson V11 only three years ago. So the first thing I'm going to tell you is that the V11, the newer version, did not last as long as the V6 um, because we kept the V6 just to sort of use um, like in the car and stuff like that. Like it started to lose its power. Um, it started to not kind of suck up as well um, as it should but we wanted to just kind of keep it for dirtier jobs and we upgraded to the v11 so one of the main things to note is that the warranty with a cordless dyson is only two years and i can tell you that after two years is when things start to go wrong you're probably wondering why i bought a second dyson when this is what happens but the truth is when you buy a dyson they're incredible like for the first time that you use it and the first year, I just love them. But the truth is they just, they don't last very long and they require a lot of maintenance. Um, yes, but we'll go into that. So I've purchased a shark because I want to try the shark. I've heard really good things about it. I've read really good reviews. Obviously in this video, I can't say how long it's gonna last, but this is just going to be first impressions um, and comparing it so far with how I've used it, comparing it with the Dyson, what I like, what I don't like so far. Um, and then hopefully at some point in the future, I can give you an idea of how long it lasts. But the first thing to point out about this Shark Hoover, which already impresses me, is this five year guarantee. It has a five year guarantee, not two years, five. So that already is filling me with a bit more confidence that should anything go wrong, I have a five year guarantee, not just two years. Um, I obviously need to go and read the small print of that and see what actually happens after, I don't know, maybe four years and something breaks. Um, but five-year guarantee just gives me more confidence in the product. Um, I don't know, if any of you have a Shark Hoover and you've had one longer than two or three years, is it still going? Leave me a comment, let me know. So the first time I realized that two years and that's about it is when on my V6, I think the battery was going um, and I contacted them and Dyson were basically like, yeah, your warranty's run out. So it's just run out. You're going to have to buy your own battery. Um, not particularly cheap. Can't think off the top of my head how much it is. But um, yeah, so the first kind of thing I think that will is likely to go is the battery. Um, but it is just so interesting how things start to go wrong. 
after that two years when the warranty runs out. Coincidence? I think so. I think what a lot of people don't realise is that the Dyson Hoovers do require a lot of maintenance um, and things will start to go wrong and parts will start to need replacing after a certain amount of time. One of the particular things that will stop working properly is the roller um, in the main brush on, on the Hoover, the bit that actually sucks up on the carpet. So in the V11, this might look a bit grim, but it gets very built up in here. You have to try and regularly clean it if you can. But you can see that this starts to weaken and the bristles on the brush, hard to show you, but they go flat. They go really flat. So this is something that you would definitely need to replace if you want your Dyson to last a long time. This brush doesn't last forever. It's the same on any Hoover really. Um, but this is such a vital part of the Hoover because by the end of it, my Hoover started sort of spraying out dirt rather than sucking it up because this just couldn't pick anything up and just wasn't helping to gather the dirt. So this doesn't last. Not that we would expect it to if you're doing kind of regular hoovering. Um, so be prepared to replace that brush. Again, I not particularly cheap. I think they're maybe about £40. Um, you can get some that aren't officially Dyson um, rollers, but it's entirely up to you. Now the V6 came with this attachment, which was really useful because it was for, sorry, it's a bit dirty, but it was for hard floors. So you could switch between the brush for the carpet and then you could pop this attachment on for the hard floors. Uh, now my V11 did not come with this. So we got a newer version of the Hoover and we didn't get a hard floor attachment. I'm not sure why, um, but that was a bit disappointing. And then on the V11, we just had so many things start to go wrong with this more than the V6, the older version. So the power started to cut out a lot, like it just wouldn't turn on. Um, then we realized that this switch for on and off broke. Luckily, my husband is very good at taking things apart and fixing things. But if you're not good at that kind of thing, you wouldn't have a clue. And obviously this happened when the warranty ran out. Um, so my husband brought, bought a replacement switch and took it apart, put it back together. However, even with the new switch, I would then be hoovering um, and I'd take my finger off the button and the power would still be on and I just could not turn it off at all. Um, so yeah, the, the power of sucking up the dirt really does fade over time. It's really not as strong. You'll start to notice it. Um, power cutting out, possibility, broken button. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know how long those hoovers are supposed to last. But for me, two years, three a push when things are kind of going wrong and you're still trying to carry on using it. Now, this is just my experience of owning two Dysons. They've both lasted very well for two years and then the third year hung in there. Um, the older version, as I say, has gone on a lot longer, but the power does cut out now. So I can use it really quickly on the hard floor and it cuts out. It just, it can't do a full battery hoover. So it probably needs a new battery. I don't know. Um, but that's really about how long a Dyson will last. Uh, so I've only had this a couple of days. It's already <laughs> super dirty inside. Sorry. Um, but yeah, I just, I can't stop using it. I'm just, I'm really enjoying it. It's, um, it's different. It's definitely different. But so far so good. I mean, immediately what I like already is the way it folds down. Um, it folds over like it's got this bendy piece here, which I think is really cool. It bends over and you can just put it away like this. Put it away somewhere in the corner. Um, because I rent and I've rented, well, I've always rented. I've never been able to hang the, the Dyson on the wall because I just 
don't want to screw giant holes into the walls of the properties that I am renting. So I've always just had it on the side to charge. Um, and then these sort of attachment bits have just been lying around and kind of in the way. So already kind of what I like about the shark is that it is it's quite compact, really. Um, I like how it just stays as one, but it's folded down and can be put away. I think that's really cool. And then if you want to open it, there's just this lock button here that you press. I'll put it down. Basically, sorry, this is, you can't see, but you press the button and it folds up like so. So one of the major things I wanted to try was the anti-hair wrap. This is something that really appeals to me. My hair just falls out constantly. I can just be walking around the house and my hair will just fall out. My carpets upstairs in my bedroom especially are covered in my hair. It just falls out. It's terrible. Like when I shower and stuff, it comes out in clumps, like handfuls. Um, worse since I've had children. When I'm pregnant, it doesn't fall out. And when I'm not pregnant, it is forever falling out. Anyway, the hair on the Dyson wraps around and around and around and it does get hugely built up with hair. It's difficult to kind of get out. Sometimes you have to cut it out with scissors or whatever, but it gets a lot of hair around it and you have to kind of constantly maintain that and pull it out. So I was really, really keen to try a vacuum that had this anti-hair wrap. Um, to try and avoid that. So if you kind of look, then if you can see, there is a little bit of hair. I mean, this is from a couple of days usage. Uh, I don't even think that is hair. Oh, it's a tiny bit of hair. It's about a couple of strands of hair. So really not much compared to what used to get stuck in the Dyson Hoover. I think that is a really good and appealing feature because um, I just don't want to be having to pull out hair all the time and obviously that's something that would not help with maintaining the roller as well. Another feature which I love, obviously you can see that there's two different rollers. The good news is I don't need this separate attachment anymore because it switches between hard floor and carpet, which is amazing. You just change it with the switch of a button. I think this one does the hard floor and this one does the carpet. Um, obviously, it's going to be really interesting to see how long this lasts with regular use. Um, I need to have a look as well to see how much it costs to replace because I'm sure it's going to wear down just as quickly as a Dyson one. However, I love this really nice soft roller for the hard floor. I think that's really, really good. So it has a really, really nice screen. I'm going to turn it on. Um, it's not too loud. It sounds a bit like a hairdryer. Um, You've got different settings for how powerful you want it. Boost. That's eco mode. And then that's just your normal, your normal mode. And then this button is where you would change from carpet to hard floor. Um, which obviously I can't show you unless it's on the base. So let's have another look lifting it up with all my strength. So this symbol here is carpet and that switches. Keep it still <laughs> to hard floor. It has a 60 minute run time which was similar to the newer Dyson. Um, I have used this for a couple of days now. So it took me two days to run the battery down as this is what they advise for the first time you use the Shark to totally charge the battery first, which takes about four hours for a full charge, and then totally 
run the battery down with use before you plug it back into the charger um, and then charge it again. So make sure you condition the battery basically to work properly. And then another really lovely feature that I like is when you're hoovering, there are lights on the front of the hoover um, to kind of show you where you're picking up the dirt. And I know that the latest Dyson does this. What Dyson are they on? Is it a 15 or something? Um, I know that one has lights on it, um, which I'll show you in a minute. But also another big thing about this hoover is the price tag as well obviously um the dysons can go for about 500 to 600 pounds and i think this was about 250 pounds so it's about half the price um but it comes with a longer guarantee and it comes with some cool features there is one thing so far that i do not like about the shark i'm gonna be honest about it it's how you empty the bin this bin is like the v6 bin and the v6 bin used to really annoy me because and i've got another video on this which i will share below but when you push the button down to empty the lid just opens and the dirt doesn't come out when it's like clumps of um like fluff and hair you kind of got to get your hands in there and pull it out and what i loved on the v11 was this slider that pushed the dirt out. So when you'd hold it over the bin, you'd push this down and it would push the cylinder down in the center so that all the dirt would just go straight into the bin and you wouldn't have to use your hands at all. So unfortunately, on the shark, I'm back to having to put my hands into the bin, but it's kind of one compromise, I guess, that I'm having to make. It's not the end of the world. Um, but yeah, we'll see how we get on. I am very new to Shark and the cordless vacuum. So if you're a regular Shark user, please do leave me any tips or advice below. It would be really great to hear how you maintain your Shark or perhaps how long your has, yours has lasted. Um, if anybody also has any other opinions on the Dyson, I would be intrigued to know because I, I've always loved Dyson. I've loved a Dyson. I've loved how it looks, how it works. Um, but for me, it's just the fact that they don't last very long at all. And the kind of maintenance that they require is pricey. Um, and there's been times where it says as well that it's blocked. And you clean the filter and you've unblocked everywhere that you possibly can and it's still saying it's blocked it's blocked it's blocked and you can't use it and it's only because my husband has stripped it down totally and cleaned it internally which again not everybody can do that we've been able to fix it um and i will actually say that's very similar as well i have the dyson hair dryer and to be fair that has lasted me a long time it has lasted me about seven years but again, it's starting to break. So it's lasted longer than the, the vacuums, but the buttons have fallen off and it's not an item that I use. It's not a product, sorry, that I use every day. Um, I rarely use it, maybe once a week or once a fortnight. Um, but again, that kept cutting out and I cleaned the filter and you know, it still kept cutting out, getting really overheated. And my husband had to strip that right down and clean it internally. So there are things that you can do to make it last longer, but it's difficult for people um, that perhaps aren't very good with, like you know, technical things and taking things apart and fixing things. So that is my video with regards to Dyson Cordless and Shark. As I say, I'm very new to Shark. I'm really intrigued to see how long it's gonna last, um, how long it's going to remain a powerful vacuum, but I really like it so far. Um, lots of features that I love. Like I say, I love how it switches between carpet and hard floor. And the Dyson just doesn't last very long for me. It requires a lot of maintenance. But as I say, I would love to hear 
your views on the Dyson or Shark, please do comment below. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video or found it useful. And if you did, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you on my next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.